Hi, this is Coco from High Top. Now I'm in a layer farm with total six buildings and six hundred layers. Uh, first, let me show you the whole layout. Uh, at my left hand, that is the feed production warehouse. Uh, the chicken farm has its own feed production. And next to the feed production warehouse, the yellow small room is the disinfection room for personnel. And on my right hand, the black house is the egg room. All the chicken eggs from the buildings will be conveyed to the egg room, and all eggs will be graded, printed, and packed here. And no matter big commercial farmers or small farmers, they consider one same question, uh, namely how to increase the raising benefit. Actually, to sum up, the ways to increase raising benefit is first to increase egg production and second to decrease feed cost. And follow me to uh, see how this big commercial farm to achieve that two ways. The first way to increase the egg production is we need to give the proper lightness for the chickens. The proper lightness means the proper lighting time and proper light intensity and the proper light color and no flicker. Okay, follow me, I will introduce one by one. First, about the light intensity. You can see we use LED lamp and we give the light every two meters and the light will be positioned as lower part one and the higher part one. So the chickens on the top and on the lower will get the even light. The second factor for the proper lightness we mean is the light time. Uh, it means how long of the light the chickens need. You know, different chickens at different ages with different weight, they need different lighting time. So we need to adjust the time to make suitable, suitable light for the chickens. But you don't, you don't need to adjust the time on menu. We have a controller to, we can set up the right time for chickens to have light or don't have light. We can achieve that by just as one controller. The light will turn to uh, from the red color to white color slowly. So chickens will not have stress. If chickens have stress, they don't eat happily. So they don't eat leg, uh, leg eggs. Uh, so that's why we need to give the proper red color for chickens. That's why proper red color, uh, that's why white proper light color have the good effect on increased egg production. And the fourth factor of the proper lightness, we mean the light don't have flicker. Uh, the, if the light have flicker, the chickens will feel stressed. Our human eyes cannot see the flicker, but the chickens can. So we need to make sure the light, the lightness is healthy. Healthy means no flicker. If no flicker, chickens can feel uh, relaxed and feel not tired, so they can eat happy and lay eggs. Uh, with good production. So to sum up, to give proper lightness for chicken means we give them proper light intensity, uh, the right light time, and the right light color, and no flicker. Uh, by this way, we can increase the egg production.
This is the first way to increase egg production. The second way to increase egg production is to give chickens a very good environment. A good environment, we mean the proper temperature, the good humidity, and the reasonable raising density. Uh, for this chicken house, we can raise 40,000 layers. And this is a closed type chicken house. So we need to make sure uh, with such a big raising density, we must make sure the inside environment is good. Uh, first, uh, the temperature should be proper. If the temperature is too high, the chicken's appetite will be low because they cannot lose their, uh, the body heat. So they eat chicken feed uh, small. So they lay eggs with a low production. If the temperature is too low, the chickens will eat more chicken feed to keep their body energy. So the feed cost will increase. So to make sure a good temperature, humidity, and the raising density is to make sure a good environment. Uh, if we want to give chickens a good environment, we need some equipment. It includes the cooling pad and deflector and air inlet window and exhaust fans. We have cooling pad deflector on gable side and both sides of the chicken house and the exhaust fans at end of the chicken house and air inlet windows on both walls of the chicken house. Okay. To give the chicken house a proper temperature, we need the cooling pad and deflector. There are three sides of cooling pad and the deflector. On front side of the chicken house and on both sides of the chicken house. Oh, this part is the cooling pad room on one, uh, on one side, on one side wall. Uh, this wall is the cooling pad. Uh, you can take a closer view. We can see the cooling pad material is made of paper and there is a wire mesh uh, in front of it. This is to prevent some rats. Um, and this part is the deflector. Deflector will be behind, behind the cooling pad. Let me explain how the cooling pad and the deflector to reduce the temperature. Uh, first, let's see the whole structure. Uh, in the front part is the cooling pad. In the middle part, you can see there is a, a, a pit. Uh, this is the water pit. We put the water pump in the middle, in the middle part. Uh, the water pump is to, uh, to lift the water from the pipe up to the cooling pad. And uh, behind the cooling pad, this is the deflector. The deflector is to change the air direction. Uh, let me explain how it works. Uh, first of all, we need to turn on the water pump. Then the water will be recycled through the cooling pad. So when hot air outside the chicken house pass through the cooling pad, the hot air will be uh, have low temperature by evaporation. So in this part, there will be the uh, the cold air. The cold air will go through into the chicken house. But if no such deflector, the cold air will blow to the chickens on the cage directly. If chickens have the cold air directly, the chickens are easy to get coldness. So we need such deflector to change the cold air direction, so it will 
uh, go upside first and then go down. It won't be load the chickens directly. So this is to prevent the chicken coldness. To make sure the temperature is good, the very important equipment we use is the exhaust fans. Uh, this wall uh, at the end of the chicken house is the exhaust fan wall. We install all fans in this part. Uh, in such a closed type chicken house, we need fresh air for chickens all the time. So the exhaust fan is to take the harmful gas out and the fresh air will come in. So uh, this is a good way to keep uh, enough fresh air for chickens. And except for the exhaust fans, the, another equipment, equipment we need is the air inlet windows on the side wall. Air inlet windows and the exhaust fans will work together to make sure the ventilation, the air volume in the chicken house is reasonable. Uh, you can see now the air inlet window is a open state. It is open now. Um, and the open the angle of the open will be adjusted automatically. Uh, it will adjust according to the air volume in the chicken house. Just now we have explained how the exhaust fans, air inlet windows, cooling pad deflector uh, works. And all this equipment works under one controller. Uh, we don't need to uh, adjust the time or the air inlet window open angle by manual. We just use the controller to control all the environmental system. And now I'm in the control room. This is the door of the chicken house. Inside these are the chickens. And we put the controller here in the control room. And this controller can control the exhaust fans, cooling pad, air inlet windows, and the deflector. And also the lighting system and the fully automatic equipment system such as the air collection machine, feeding machine, manure cleaning machine. So all the control system will be achieved by this controller. The third way to increase egg production is to decrease the mortality rate. To decrease mortality rate, we have two ways. Number one, to give chickens a healthy environment. Number two, uh, to make this disinfection uh, timely. And for the number one, to give chicken house, to give chickens a healthy environment, we need to do uh, two steps. Uh, first, to clean chicken manure every day. And second, make sure good ventilation. Uh, for the good ventilation, we had a brief introduction just now. So uh, let's focus on how to clean chicken manure. Uh, you can see the cage has four tiers. One, two, three, four. And there is the manure belt under its cage. The chicken manure will drop on the belt and the belt will run like a circle under the engine. And so chicken manure can be conveyed from each tier to the end part. At the end part, there is a vertical chicken manure cleaning machine. Uh, I will open it to show you inside part. Uh, the, the red part, we call it as scraper. There is one scraper for one tier of the cage. So each tier, uh, the chicken manure on each tier will be cleaned timely. And this is the first part to clean chicken manure. Uh, the manure belt will run first and will go through the scraper first. So this is the first step to 
clean check manure. And here is the second step to clean chicken manure. Um, as I said just now, the belt will run like a circle. The upper belt will move forward, go through the scraper, and come back to this part. The scraper part is the first step to clean chicken manure. So when belt come to this part, this part, this device will cleaning chicken manure again. So this is the second part, the second step, and the third step to clean chicken manure again. Uh, you can take a closer view of this. Uh, you can see the red part. Uh, we can call it a small scraper. Uh, it will clean the uh, manure on the belt for the second time and for the third time. So chicken manure can be cleaned timely and the chicken house will be uh, more clean. And um, to, and we also have another design to make sure uh, the healthy environment is this part. This, this part is the distance from each tier of the chicken cage. So if the distance is higher, we make the distance higher to make sure the chickens inside the cage won't pack the manure on the belt. You can imagine that if the distance is small, the chickens inside the cage can pack the manure. If they always pack the manure, they are easy to get intestinal disease. So that is not healthy for chickens. So that's why we make the distance higher. So chickens won't pack manure here. And now you can understand how the chicken manure is cleaned by the vertical machine. Uh, this is the first step. All the chicken manure will be cleaned to the end part, uh, the vertical cleaning machine. And secondly, after the vertical cleaning machine, all the chicken manure will drop onto the ground. There is a horizontal manure cleaning machine on the ground. You can see the green belt. This belt is also cleaning the chicken manure from inside the house to outside the house. After chicken manure is cleaned from inside to outside, also we have another device we call it as slope chicken manure cleaning machine. This is a slope. Uh, because after chicken manure is conveyed out, we need the trucks or the cars to uh, transport the manure outside the farm. So we put the slope uh, chicken manure machine. Uh, you can see there is a slope is an angle here. So uh, the, here is the spare space. We will drive the car, uh, we will drive the truck here to collect the chicken manure from the slope manure cleaning machine. So that's the way how chicken manure is cleaned from inside the house to outside the farm. Uh, if we can clean chicken manure every day, we can make sure there is no harmful or no smell, no odor inside the house. So the chickens won't have the uh, respiratory or intestinal disease. So that's why, how, or that's how we keep the good uh, environment for chickens. So if chickens have good environment, they have low mortality rate they will have high egg production. So that's the third way to increase egg production, namely to decrease mortality rate. 
Okay, just now I explained to giving chickens a healthy environment can decrease the mortality rate. And the second way to reduce the mortality rate is the strict disinfection system. How can we do that? Uh, you can see behind me is a disinfection room for workers. Uh, it will be built in front of the chicken farm. Uh, this is the gate of the farm. So the disinfection room will be built here. Because when workers or uh, other visitors want to come into the buildings, they need to do disinfection here first. Uh, this is to reduce the infection or the uh, infection of the bacteria to make sure the chicken farm environment is safe. Uh, you can see when I comes into this room, these sprayers will start working automatically. It will have the fogging system. All this fogging system is made of this infection room. There is also a automatic controller for this. The controller will know when it will be finished for the disinfection. After the disinfection, the workers now can go out from this side. And now they are safe to go into the chicken building. Okay, to decrease the mortality rate, we also have another good way, uh, namely to build the egg room outside the chicken house. Uh, on my right hand is the black room, is the egg room. All the chicken eggs from the chicken building or eggs from the 16 buildings will be conveyed across from the cross-section system to the egg room. Uh, if chicken eggs are conveyed to the egg room, then we don't need trucks to go into the uh, buildings to collect chicken eggs. And we also don't need to workers to go into the building to pick up eggs. So uh, we can reduce the risk of cross infection. Reduce the cross infection rate means reduce the mortality rate. Reduce mortality rate means we can mm, get higher egg production. The fourth way to increase egg production is to decrease egg broken rate. We can achieve 0.2 percentage egg broken rate. How can we achieve that? Uh, follow me, I will show you our secret. Uh, first, you can see the whole view of the chicken house. Here are four tiers taken shape. One, two, three, four. So there will, act, there will be egg belt for each tier. You can see the white part is the egg belt. We have egg belt for each tier. So chicken egg will roll from the floor mesh to the egg belt. The egg belt will run like a circle, like the manure bed. It will run like a circle. So after chicken eggs on the belt, 
it will be conveyed to the front part of the chicken house. And the first reason why we can achieve such low egg broker rate is also the egg belt. How can we do that? First, the egg belt material is made of PP or nylon. Such material can absorb vibration of the egg belt. So chicken eggs can be conveyed more stably, more steadily uh, from the cage to the front part. If it can convey stably, the chicken broken rate will be low. And to make sure the egg belt runs smoothly and runs stably, we also have some small device to fix it. Uh, that's the plastic belt clip. We can take a closer view. This white device, it is a plastic clip. This is to fix the egg belt on the floor mat. So the egg belt won't, uh, won't move uh, freely, so it can run smoothly. All chicken eggs from the cage will be finally conveyed to the front part. In the front part of the chicken house, we have this egg collector or egg collecting machine. And the second reason why we can achieve 0.2 percentage egg broken rate is the egg collection machine. Uh, it has two special designs. First of all, is the egg filter part, uh, this red part. You can see some red axles here. Uh, this part we design is to filter soft eggs. Uh, you know, some chickens will like soft eggs, uh, not only such good quality eggs. But we don't need that soft eggs, right? Uh, we need, if the soft eggs will pass through the egg collector, it will it may broken during the transportation. So the broken eggs will make the uh, chickens dirty. And so we put such egg filter part here. So soft chicken eggs can be filtered here. And soft eggs will transfer from the belt to the uh, filter and will drop on the will drop on the plate. So workers can just pick up the or clean the soft eggs here. Uh, this is the first special design. And for a second special design is such metal block. Uh, there are such metal blocks on each tier of the cage. You can see there is the metal block for each tier. Uh, this metal sheet is used to change, to change the egg transportation direction. Uh, you can see from this tier, the chicken eggs will run to left direction. All eggs from this tier will run to left direction. But for the lower part, all the eggs will run to the right direction, left and right. So chickens will move to different directions. Why do we that? If chickens move same direction, if the chicken eggs move same direction, all the eggs will block, will be crowned in one part. If chickens crowned or blocked in one part, the chicken eggs will be broken easily. So we change the egg transportation direction to make sure the eggs can move to different directions to uh, prevent the egg block, to prevent the egg broken rate. So this is the second 
uh, reason how we can achieve the low absorption rate. And the third reason is this part, the blue part. Uh, this blue part is a plastic cloth. Uh, this is to collect eggs. We make the glove as an air tap. This air tap has small space for taking, so for taking eggs. So the eggs will be crowded or blocked here. Uh, now I will start or turn on the machine to show you how the eggs are collected. Uh, you can see that X will be uh, changed for the turning direction to the left part and to the right part. And left and here right part. From the front part, uh, we can also see the chicken eggs in different positions. Some are in the right position, some are in the uh, left position. So chickens will be not blocked in one position. That's how we decrease the egg broken rate. Now we come to the second way. To increase raising benefit is to decrease the feed cost. How to decrease feed cost and how the big commercial farms do? Let's see. Uh, you can see on my left hand is their feed production room. They produce chicken feed on their own, so they can reduce the chicken feed cost. Um, actually, for small farmers, they can also have their own feed production machine. We have different capacity of feeding machine. Uh, you can build such big feed production warehouse, or you can just buy one machine to produce chicken feed for your farms. Now I'm in the feed production warehouse. I'm inside the warehouse now. Uh, you can see all the machines are for feed production. We have some raw material here, such as the wheat, and we have soybeans. We also have corns in that part. We will make feed powder through the machine, and we will mix all the raw material together. Then we get the finished chicken feed. And so you can see, we can produce chicken feed on our own, so we can save the chicken feed cost. Then we can uh, achieve the higher raising benefit. The second way to lower the feed cost is to make full use of the chicken feed. We can achieve that by our fully automatic equipment. How can we do that? Let me show you. This is our automatic feeding machine. Uh, you can see the machine has four tiers, four hoppers for each tier. And all the hoppers are closed tight, so there will be no dust for the chicken feed. We can make sure the chicken feed is, is clean. If you want to check the feed quantity inside the hopper, uh, you can check the feed quantity from this small window. Uh, there are eight windows for each hopper. And there is a brush here. This brush is to clean the feeder trough. Uh, so you can see we 
find out many ways to make sure the chicken food is clean. Uh, so uh, you may ask, how can we make fully use of the chicken food? We have two devices to make sure we can fully use, make fully use of the chicken feed. Uh, we can see from this part. Uh, this small device and this one. Uh, this one is connected with the automatic feeding machine. Uh, if you take a closer view, you can see some measurement here. We use this to measure the chicken feed for the chickens. Uh, you know, chickens at different ages, uh, they eat different quantity of chicken feed. So we need to adjust the chicken feed quantity to make sure chickens will eat proper quantity. So we can uh, just adjust the chicken feed quantity with this part. And the second part is here. Uh, this device is used to make sure the chicken feed in this part will be returned back to the cage. Why do we do that? Uh, you can see that uh, this is the chicken cage and no cage in the front part. So no chicken cage in the front part, no chickens in the part. But if when the machine running, the chicken feed will be uh, put in the feeder trough in this part. But chickens cannot eat the feed here, right? If chickens cannot eat, it will be a waste. So we put this device to make sure the chicken feed in this part will be returned back here so chickens can eat again. And now let me show you how it works. the machine run forward and we can see the feed will drop in the feeder trough in this part and we want the chicken feed back to the cage right now how now let me see you how it works let's take a closer at Uh, now you see this device return back. When it comes back, the chicken feed will also come back. So the chickens will eat the feed uh, again. So that's the way how we make full use of the chicken feed. To make full use of the chicken feed is to reduce your feed cost.